Hello Flosstube, this is Dawn, Frosty Egg Stitch. Um, I just put together two little clips that I made on Sunday. And yeah, watch the clips and I'll show you a bit more about this pattern in one of the clips and afterwards. Have fun! It is still Sunday, the 10th of September. I quickly wanted to show you some lovely gifts that I got. This is from Kitten Tree Gifts. I showed um, some needle minders and some scissor fobs that she had made. She's a friend of mine. She's got her Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop is called Kitten Tree Gifts. And for showing her lovely needle minders that I really loved, she actually gave me a free one. So that's it. And I just wanted to show you that the way she does it, she uses the silver small um, magnets and she puts them in this rubbery backing and she makes these herself. She's got lots of beads, she does lots of beading, she does necklaces and stuff and she beaded this and then that just goes in there so your fabric will not be damaged in any way and she gave this to me as a thank you. Um, thank you Svenja, I really love it and now that I've showed it I can finally put it on one of my projects. So thank you for that. A lovely card as well. Um, I mentioned in I think my first video that I collect mugs. I love mugs but they have to be a certain kind of mug and it's very difficult to find something if you want to gift me because I don't like anything, everything. Um, but I saw this on Etsy and I just, as I said, I want, to, I want to stitch the Coffee Quaker sometime, but not now. But I saw this mug and I really, really wanted to have it, but they don't ship to Switzerland. So, yeah, I was debating what to do and I don't know. So, Caitlin from Big Apple Stitching, if you haven't watched her yet, go and watch her. She actually messaged me and said, look, I live in the States. Where do you get this mug? I can get it for you and I'll ship it to you to Switzerland. And she did and it got here this week. It was actually very fast shipping from New York to Switzerland. So I, I was really happy to receive my mug. Thank you very much. It's a coffee mug. And I only I have mugs that I only use for coffee. I have mugs that I only use for tea. And as it is for me, it's still well. It's not morning. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. But I've recently got up, so it's still morning. And I'm actually drinking tea. So I have to use a tea mug. As you can see, I've got a special taste. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I have mugs for tea, so I'm using my tea mug for my tea. And the coffee mug will only get used for coffee. Which of course brings me to the stitching that I'm doing today. I'm trying to finish this. I don't know, I came home on Thursday evening. And I know that this pattern was up, but I actually downloaded his first pattern, Chris's first pattern, a midnight meeting. And I was kidding that one up, but I came home on Thursday and I just got this pattern out and I started it. And as you can see, I'm nearly finished. I'll finish it today. And well, it's always time for tea. I know you have the option for coffee, but in my house, it's always time for tea. You can have coffee if you like. I love coffee, but I love this pattern and it's been stitching up really nicely and very fast. So I'm happy about that. Um, but back to Caitlin. She actually sent me a card, a nice card. And of course it says that my mug was afraid to fly alone. And she actually put in some linen. And she says, here's some linen for you to get your feet wet with. Because as I mentioned, I have never stitched with linen. 
and this is the fabric that she sent me and it's sparkly and it's lovely and it's you can see it's 32 count crystal that I've blown by it fast and now I'll have to find a project to start stitching on linen and it's really nice I did not expect anything like this and thank you so much it's really it it is so nice to receive this gift what she also did she included some Christmas patterns for me I've got my first prairie school pattern it's only a small one I don't care it's my first one and I love it it's just a tiny little pattern sorry for showing um, but it's it's perfect so now I can do some Christmas stitching love that and I've got my first Lizzie Kate I've been seeing Lizzie Kate's and uh, Prairie School of Patterns that I really liked but I'm doing stitch from stash so I'm not actually buying but I've got three patterns here and all new to me Prairie School of Lizzie Kate linen and my mug I love my coffee mug it's just thank you so much thank you Caitlin um, if you don't follow her, she's got a floss tube. I think she has two floss tubes out. By the time I put this up, she might have a third one. Who knows? Thank you very much. Thank you very much also to Svenja from Kitten Tree Gifts. Go and check out her stuff on Etsy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again shortly. Hello, floss tube. It is Sunday, the 10th of September. And I wanted to show you bit more about this Krennic that I use for September Sapphire Fairy that I'm not really happy with. Um, I told you that I used Krennic for Poppy and even though it wasn't that easy to do it was a lot easier and better than what I'm using now for September Sapphire Fairy. Just quickly to show you I used I've got both patterns here so I can show you what it says and the saviour was um, Thread Heaven that you probably all know um, which I could use for Poppy it does not work on September Sapphire Fairy Krennic so as you can see Poppy has lots of Krennic in it um, especially up here where it has these, these swirls that go up there that's Krennic then you have Krennic where you do the crosses and you put beads in with Krennic you have it there in her wing along there that's Krennic there then you have lots of it down here as well now the Krennic that is called for Poppy is Krennic Metallic Very Fine Number 4 Braid and it's just two of them and you can see what they are they have numbers there yeah. Very Fine Number 4 Braid and that's the other one so when you pull it out you can see that it's that's what it's like so it's like floss, it's a bit, the thickness is about two strands of DMC floss, but it's metallic and it's not um, very fine either, so it's, it's got this sort of swirl to it. But if you use Thread Heaven, you can actually use this pretty easily to do your crosses and to do backstitch. I didn't really like doing beads unless it was in the cross stitch section but not on the swirls. On the swirls I did something different but you could actually use it. It was took some time to get used to. Um, you don't do very long lengths, you use short lengths but it's usable and I could do it and I like Poppy so that worked well 
So I got September Soft Power Fairy and I didn't really think anything about it. It said Krennic Blending Filament. I just got what it said. Now, these are the ones and it actually says Blending Filament, which is usually when you use like say a DMC, one strand and then one strand of this, that would work. But in the pattern, you use this stuff by itself. And as you can see, it's basically plastic. It's not metallic, it's plastic. And it's, it's this strange, it's just flat. I don't know if you can see it, it's just flat. For one thing, you hardly can, you, you can't really get into your needle and then it keeps slipping out. You can't use thread heaven because it's too slippery. And the coverage with one strand on, um, I think I'm doing it on 28 count, one strand just doesn't work. So you need two strands and doing two strands, it just, it slips all over the place. It twists, it does whatever it likes. You can see it's already now doing whatever it likes. So you can't use Thread Heaven and it, it's just really difficult to work with and I haven't really found out how to do it. Um, so on my September Sapphire Fairy when I started, I started in the top. I know that lots of people start in the middle, I did that with Poppy, but then Poppy has lots of just DMC crosses at the bottom her dress and then the crinette comes up top and that then was so tedious to do that I nearly put her away so this time I decided I'll do the, the difficult part at the beginning like the face and all the beads and the crinette so I started up here and the crinette you can see it in there you can see now already that the coverage is very bad and I've been using two strands and you actually use the crinic to go up and put the beads in so the beads they go all over the place with, with the crinic you can't really hold them in place you because you can't really you can't pull too hard on a crinic it'll, it'll just basically go through your fabric and so it's very difficult to do and here you can see I've been using two strands, but it was so difficult. You can see my crosses are absolutely dead. They're, if it would be DMC, I would rip them out because they just don't look like anything nice. But as I started using it there already, um, I've been using it all over. You can see every, everywhere I use it, you can see it. Just the coverage just doesn't work. The DMC coverage is perfect. Okay, I'm missing there. I'm missing one color there so, but the DMC covered is really nice and like the beads there I think should have been on with Krennic but I just chose a DMC color that's the same as my fabric and I think you can see that there yeah if you go close you can see that I've used that to put the beads in place and that works for me because going far away you can't actually see it um, and this crinic is used like always in between there and where you can really see it is here and I think it's such a shame if I would have known before I would have used some other crinic number four braid in these colors but not blending filament so or apparently Petted treasure braid is something that you could use. I have no idea because I don't have an LNS just around the corner, so I can't really go and check it out. And I don't want to buy anything online shipping from the US to Switzerland if I don't know what it is and I don't know what it's like. So it would cost too much. I'll have to wait for it to get here and then I don't know if I can use it. So that's just something that I wanted to show you. So if you're planning on stitching September Sapphire Fairy or any other mirabilia and it says and it calls for Krennic Blending Filament 
check out if you use the chronic blending filament as a filament or as actual floss like it does on my pattern here like I said like there for instance if it does that switch it out for something else that would be my recommendation okay see you later bye right I'm back again um, I finished my T-Bones pattern that was created by Chris from Fox and Jackal and it was a free pattern and I'll link it below they've got a website where you can go and download it so do that if you can I made a small donation because I got two patterns now from him both free um, I finished it on Sunday and I put it in a very cheap IKEA frame that's why it's crinkled it was not easy to get into a frame you can't lace it or anything it's a very cheap frame but I think it's absolutely fitting and the second picture shows where it's actually now standing in my kitchen and <laughs> every time I walk into my kitchen I see it and I have to smile and yeah thank you Chris it's really nice I really enjoyed stitching it and it really it's a fun fun thing I really like it don't stop creating patterns um, I have to correct myself on the September Sapphire Fairy uh, I stitch I'm stitching her on 18 count Ada cream uh, not 25 or 28 I don't know what I said in a, in a clip yeah and for, the, for Chris's pattern I switched out the red from DMC 606 to the more fitting in my opinion DMC 666 yeah that's all from me um, I just wanted to put these clips in and my regular floss tube should be up next Wednesday have a nice week happy stitching see you soon bye